Hi, I'm Elijah, and welcome back to another Kenko webcast, your number one source for information on labeling and pricing products. Today, I'll be showing you how to properly load and maintain your Monarch 1135 series handheld label gun. If you find this video to be helpful, please click the like button below. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with several key components of the gun. Let's pick up the gun with our left hand and take a look at the top. Right away, you'll notice the print head and the adjustment dials. Let's turn the gun towards us and look at the front. On the top, you will see the nip rollers. These will help apply the label to your product. Below the nip rollers, you will see a silver roller, and below that, the gray feed bar. If you look closely, you'll notice two arrows engraved in the black frame. Please make a note of them for later, as they will aid us in loading the gun. On each side of the gun, you will find a latch. These latches will open the upper housing assembly. Let's pull both of those latches towards the back of the gun and lift the upper housing assembly so we can take a peek inside. Below the nip rollers, we will see the ink roller rod. On the side of the ink roller rod is a white button that ejects the ink roller from the rod. In the middle of the gun, you will find the label housing assembly. On each side is a circular disc that holds the label roll and relieves friction when the gun is properly loaded. Working towards the front of the gun, there is a plastic cover over the advancing mechanism. To open the cover, place your finger in the horseshoe depression on the side of the label roll housing and lift, exposing the advancing mechanism. This is an important step when clearing a jam. Notice the advancing mechanism advance every time you squeeze the trigger. It's important to note that the print location on the Monarch 1135 series cannot be adjusted. Now that we are more familiar with the various components, let's learn how to quickly and properly load the Monarch 1135 series labeler. Let's start by opening up the label housing cover. Let's grab a roll of labels and place it in the label cavity so that the labels are winding from the back and over the top of the roll. These blank labels in assorted colors can be custom printed with your information and are available through Kenko. Push the labels in firmly and the roll should lock right onto the core holding discs. Let's pull the labels out of the gun and over the silver roller about 6 to 8 inches. Then we can close the label housing cover. Now we'll need to remove a few labels from the liner before we feed the labels into the advancing mechanism. A quick and easy way to do this is to squeeze the trigger halfway and pull the label strip down until you've separated about 6 or 7 labels. Next, let's tear the label lining to remove the other labels so we have a nice clean start. Let's feed the labels into the advancing mechanism right above those little black arrows while continuously squeezing the trigger until we meet resistance and the liner comes tightly around the front of the gun. Now that the gun is properly loaded, we will learn how to adjust the price. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the dials on the print head. With the top part of the gun facing you, we'll use our left hand to hold the gun and our right hand to grab the top adjustment dial. Let's change the bands to our desired price by turning the adjustment dial. To move to the next set of digits, simply pull the adjustment dial and the adjustment indicator will follow you to the digit you are currently adjusting. When you have finished adjusting the top dial, let's make sure to push it back in and we'll move to the bottom adjustment dial. When you have finished adjusting the bottom dial, be sure to push the adjustment dial back into the print head and you're all set. Now that we know how to properly load and adjust the Monarch 1135 label gun, let's learn how to change the ink roller. The first thing we need to do is open the label housing cover. To release the old ink roller, let's press the white button on the side of the ink roller rod the ink roller should pop right off. Use only the white button to eject the ink roller, as pulling the ink roller itself will damage the ink roller locking and ejection mechanism. Once the ink roller is removed, we will get our replacement ink roller from its packaging and slide it onto the ink roller rod. It should snap right on. Additional ink rollers can be purchased from KenkoStore.com. Now that we've put the new ink roller in, we can begin labeling. To label an item, simply pick up the gun, squeeze and release the trigger once, hold the price gun directly over the product, then just roll the label on your product and you're all done. This has been another Kenko webcast. For more information and outstanding prices on these products, visit us on the web today at www.kencostore.com or call us toll free at 1-800-86-KENKO.
For more product videos and tutorials like this, go to www.kenco.tv.